Seven minutes after the hour of 10 o'clock, KGO News Talk, 810 time, Bernie Ward program, 808-0810, the number to call this hour, brought to you by Sirius Satellite Radio. It is being alleged on the Daily Coast that new United States Senator James Webb, whose son is a Marine Lance Corporal in Iraq, was at a reception with the president. The president asked Webb how his son was doing, and Webb, who has been very fearful about him, said, Mr. President, I wish he was home. The president is alleged to have said to him, I didn't ask you that. I asked you how he was doing. It is reported on the Daily Coast that Webb was very close to taking a poke at the President of the United States. Something that no jury in the land would have convicted him of. For showing unbelievable, or maybe in his case not, insensitivity to a father whose son was in danger as a direct result of decisions that this man standing right next to him made, the man who could bring him home if he wanted to. I bring that to your attention, ladies and gentlemen, number one, because it, I can't even begin to tell you what an interesting day it would be if Webb had actually taken a poke at him. But more importantly, I do because we've now been in this war longer than we were in World War II. The cost of this war has exceeded World War I, Korea, Vietnam, and in fact will exceed the cost of World War II when all is said and done. Close to 3,000 Americans are dead, more than 20 to 30,000 at least have been wounded. Our military machine is broken. The equipment lost in Iraq is, is according, according to John Murtha, going to cost somewhere between 50 and 100 billion dollars to replace. We have this nation um, ruined our credibility in the rest of the world. This country has been torn in half by all of this. This war and the ancillary issues around it have been an excuse to trash the Constitution. And I'm asking you tonight to look into your hearts and tell me or tell yourself whether or not when we remember, do you remember the night of shock and awe? Do you remember the first cruise missile that hit a building in Baghdad because they thought Saddam Hussein was there? Do you remember the tens of thousands of munitions dropped on that country? Do you remember mission accomplished? I want to know if you were one of the ones who supported this whole disaster, who thought somehow that this was something that we had to do. I heard Pat Buchanan today talking about the United States is about to suffer the greatest defeat in its entire history. And my answer to that is so what? I didn't want to go. I said it was wrong. We shouldn't have gone. It was the wrong war in the wrong place. I, stupid, fat, idiot Bernie Ward, knew that there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. I, dim bulb, obese Bernie Ward, knew that this was the wrong war, knew that this would turn into a guerrilla war, knew that we would get bogged down into it, and knew that eventually the Shiites and the Sunnis and the Kurds would all be killing each other, because that's what they've done to each other for a thousand years. I, the round mound of sound that you love to hate, knew that George Bush's father did not go into Baghdad because he said if we replace Saddam Hussein, we're going to have to occupy the country. I knew that Dick Cheney hated that because the man is, above all, the most un-American, unpatriotic, traitorous, fascist 
that ever lived, and he didn't like the fact that Saddam Hussein was still around. He took umbrage. His pride was hurt. And so he and a bunch of the others got together and convinced numbnuts that we should invade a country who had not attacked us. Now I hear people saying, well, we can't get out, but we can't stay. And if we get out, it's a big defeat. And if we get out, there's going to be chaos. Meanwhile, the president is having to debate whether it's a civil war. The president says he's going to meet with Al Maliki tomorrow and ask him, okay, what are you going to do about all of this? Maliki ought to turn to him and say, listen, you effing idiot. What the hell did you do to start all this? And Webb should have punched him. My God, are you looking at what's going on? We went in there with too few troops. We didn't, you know, for a war that was supposed to be the defining war of the 21st century, why didn't we send 500,000 troops? Why didn't we Why didn't we go in and just take this, this place apart? Why didn't we put troops at the armories so that tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of pounds of ammunition couldn't go into the enemy's hands? Why didn't we make sure everybody had their body armor? Why didn't we make sure we could control the borders? Because this was always bulls geschichte. Because they were going to do this on the cheap. Because this was to send a message. Because this was to topple Saddam and then turn around and put pressure on Iran. And say, do you listen to the conversation every day? Are you listening to what they're saying on the news? Iran came out the winner of all of this. Iran is in the best position of anybody in all of this. Iran is controlling Iraq. Iran has an influence over the entire region. The Persian Gulf is going to be the Persians because we eliminated the one guy they were the most afraid of we went to war with Iraq and Iran won and we can't do a thing about it we're gonna end up negotiating with Iran we're gonna end up asking Iran to come in and have some influence over the Shiites so that we can calm things down we're gonna to have to concede to Iran we're probably gonna to have to agree not to do trade sanctions so that they will agree to help we're gonna to have to talk with Syria we're gonna to have to talk with all of these people and beg beg and beg someone to step in and try and slow all of this down. The United States Marines and all American forces are about to be pulled out of the Anbar province. You know why? Because they can't control it. Do you know who is going to control the Anbar province? Probably Al-Qaeda. They're going to go back to Baghdad to try and control Baghdad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a cluster F. This is FUBAR, F'd up beyond all recognition, and the guy responsible sits in the White House. And the Congress responsible sits there now, Democrats and Republicans. What do we do? James Webb has a son over there, and the president says, how is he? Webb says, I wish he could come home, but I didn't ask you that. Everybody knows it's a civil war president says, well, it's just sectarian, and Al-Qaeda's doing it. The president of the United States today tried to blame Al-Qaeda for what's going on in Iraq. The general in charge tried to blame Al-Qaeda for what's going on in Iraq. They tried to use Al-Qaeda to get us into this damn thing. 